Hello, it's Ruth Hamilton back with another video for Tonic Studios. Thanks very much for joining me again today. This time I have got a new showcase die set with 20, 25 dies inside. This one is called the Out for Lunch gift box die set. And you can see there it makes a lovely little box for putting all sorts of gifts and things in. Um, it's like a little hamper box. There are 25 dies in the set and on the inside here you can see every one of them is shown on the paper so you'll know exactly what to do with them. There's a lovely little folder and they come on an acetate sheet but there's also a magnetic sheet on the back to hold them all together. And I've said in a couple of these videos before but I think it's a good idea because there are just so many dies packed onto the sheet that when you start to use them you'll never be able to fit them back on the way Tonic have got them in the first place so it's a really good idea just to take a quick photograph of how they're placed before you start. I hope you find that a handy tip. Now to make the die, to make the, the picnic box, sorry, this will be the main die used along with this one. So these two together form the sides and the base and you'll need to cut out two of each. I'll show you all of those in a moment or two but um, just at the moment I'll show you what all these other little pieces do. So we've got that and then there's some decorative piece. This one is for the side and there's a lovely part there with a butterfly on it. Um, I have used all of these. There it is there. I will show you it against a piece of black which I had set out. It's disappeared now. I'll just move this. So you would cut out the outline die first and then when you've that cut out use the decorative piece inside, just tape it down and that's what you're left with. And there's a side panel as well to match that. Then there's a lovely large butterfly here in two pieces that you can use as well. So That makes a lovely little tag for the end or else you can use it to put on top of the box. So we've got that, then there's this little leaf here. And that will cut out, I'll just put it here and show you, like so. Um, these other decorative panels, this one is a kind of a trellis, I'll show it against the black here. So that's that one. And then you can see photographs in my first samples at the start, which I've sent off for the launch of the die set. But you can see these ones used in my other samples. Now this little piece is very interesting, that you can, hopefully the camera will catch it there. It debosses a little pattern and also cuts out some little flowers. So you can leave the pattern plain or if you just tape that one on on top. It doesn't do any cutting except for these little tiny holes here in the shape of flowers. Um, so you just tape it on after you've finished and that will make the decorative panel at the top. Uh, so that I think, these little circles, sorry I'll show you, have, here we have them. There's a plain one and then one which says love and a few other little pieces. There's a little flower as well, that's this one, and these can be used for the centre. But as I go along and make the box, I will show you all of that on the way. Now, th here's one that I'll not be using on the box this time, but I'll just show you how it cuts. Um, it's this little outline shape, along with this little die which says hello sunshine. Now, you can just cut out the plain background like so. It's got a lovely little rainbow on it. If you use th this inner die on top of this one, it then cuts out this shape, which you can glue onto, and it has a little backing plate for that. So that's a lovely little die cut, and you can use that on any of your projects. It doesn't necessarily have to be this one. So I have all of my bits and pieces cut out. I will just tidy this set away and I will show you how to make it up. For my little sample box today I have chosen the fuchsia pink and jet black in the Craft Perfect Texture Weave card and then I've also added a little bit of the Snowdrop Meadow in the Speciality paper. So I like these colours because there's a nice contrast and you can see the, the lovely pattern through. So there you are. I have two each of these pieces cut out and two of these as well and I have used the little pattern die up on the top there. 
I've also gone ahead and creased these. The debossed lines are already on them, so it's just a matter of reinforcing all those score lines and having them ready to roll. So I've also gone ahead and added some double-sided red liner tape along here. Now that um, gives a real good firm grip, but you could also use some deluxe adhesive glue or whatever you like on it. Um, if you think you like a little bit more manoeuvrability while you're working with it, maybe a wet glue would suit you better, but um, just for the purposes of the video I'll be using the red tape. However, I do sometimes use either. So the box is actually really easily put together, um, so it doesn't really matter too much about whether you want to add your detail or your decoration on before or after, but I just think while all these pieces are lying nice and flat like this, it's easier just to go ahead and add all this detail. So um, I tend to just do all of this first of all, and there we are, that's where it's all going. Um, the right way up of course, I think I've got that back side foremost, but there we are. So I will go ahead and glue all these pieces on and then I'll assemble the little box afterwards and I'll just speed the video up as I go ahead with this glue. So. What I suggest doing next is removing the tape from the bagging tape from these parts. That's if that's red liner, it's actually best done with a pokey tool. And then I'll do it on this part as well, just and I'll do the two together. Just catch it there with the pokey tool and remove it. And then lay this flat and butt this side up against that so you've got that perfectly straight. Um, and I'll just do it this way so you can see. There we are, and then do the same on here, and that way, um, when you come to put on the next piece at the other side, those two edges, see when you turn this over, you've got these pieces showing. No, it doesn't really matter because they're quite fine, but I like to do it this way so that when this piece goes on now, that covers those, so I will just use some of the wet glue on this part. and then pop that onto there. And that gives a good firm base and it also covers up those pieces as well. So when you turn it over, just check. The, the glue will give you a little bit of movement for a moment or two, but there you are. And that's what it should look like at this stage. And then next we just go ahead and remove these pieces and tape it together. And that is the little box so easily made. It's just a dream to put together. So there we are. I shall do that. Just lift this up, hold that together there, and there you are. And I'll go ahead and do that with the other sides. Now all you need to do is fold these pieces in and these hold these together, push them in there and they come out the side at the bottom and do the same here. Hold these two pieces together, you can see that, and pop through and there you are. To decorate the top panels of my little box I have taken some of the speciality paper and I have cut out two lovely butterflies with this die. Um, and one little tip if you're using the speciality paper, it's better just to place the die and cut out just enough that you need to cut it out with because if you leave the full page on the full piece of paper um, the plates of your die cutting machine will probably flatten this piece and then you'll not see all that lovely texture. So just to keep it good for another time, you can just cut off as, as much as you need, use that and then you're good to go with the rest of it. So I've done the same with these little circles for the insides of the flowers as well. I have used the two dies together and made two lovely pink butterflies and what I'm going to do is then just fold up on either side of the body there and 
add some glue along the, the body and up here on the anthers and I'm just going to pop that on there on the butterflies and I usually just take this little thing here, this little folder, bone folder, hold that down for a minute or two until that gives you a lovely dimensional butterfly and I'll attach that to the top, just put some glue on here and attach that to the top of my box and I'll do the same with that one. Then I have cut out two flowers because I'm going to make a little tag. So there's one, there's a little hope pinhole in it here to put some twine through and then I have done the other one and just another quick tip here is um, obviously you would more than likely be embossing with your embossing mat but if it's for something small like this and you don't want to get the mat out and start to run it through again I just take an embossing tool like this and go quickly around it. You can feel the edges just around the, the um, outside there. It's quite easy to follow you just put the embossing tool in and you can follow the edge and then you'll get a lovely crisp emboss. You can see it there hopefully. So I have got two lovely flowers there. You probably think you only need one but I like to just have the back of it covered as well so what I'm going to do is glue these white pieces on to the centre. I think that textured piece matches the butterfly nicely and it also gives a nice bit of dimension to the centre of the flower so there we are again. Put that one on there. Then I have cut out the two leaves in black. Uh, I'm just going to move that over slightly. I'll probably just snip a couple of bits off there. Um, and the same with this one. Uh, just about there. And then I'll glue these inside. This keeps it all nice and tidy. So let's say that's the back and we'll just pop that in there. So you've just got a little bit of leaf coming out there. Now remember this is the back so that's why the flower is going that direction. Um, and then there we are and we'll just do the same there. And then we'll just take this piece, add some glue on there and pop that into the centre and then add the twine at the top. Just hold that together, hold it all together, there we are. And there's the little tag. So I'll just attach these to the box and that's it finished. And there you are, that's the finished little box. Isn't that cute? So if you'd like to follow my videos and see what's coming next, I have some more for Tonic Studios and I have some other videos coming up very soon, um, please subscribe to my channel and that way we can keep in touch and keep up to date. Thanks for watching. See you soon.